Hello there, my name is Polschlings and welcome to Sweet Volley High! Surprisingly, another request to play this and was given the key. And, well, why not? I actually had this game on the wishlist, so... It's a win-win situation, I guess. Let's begin! Another night in the gym. Another night in the gym, right. Welcome to Komaji Gakuen. That's me, I am Mizuki. Standing around not doing a lot. I'm not really into volleyball or anything, I'm just kind of here. Mm. No one really includes me in practice. I never really play in any games. Eh, eh. Well, that's eh. not good. Kind of waste of time. <laughs> Tonight practice is a free on free match, and I'm odd man out, or maybe odd woman out, as always. There's always so much pressure to join some kind of after school activity. It will look great on the resume when you apply for college. What else would you do? So here I am, standing around in volleyball club. Sure, I run laps and do fit and stuff with the team, but it's not like I know how to play really. Not sure I care either way for. That's Nanami Ebihara. She's one of the stars of the team. She's actually good. She plays for the national under 18 team. Nice. We do tend to win more often than not, and it really it's down to her. Even if I was interested in volleyball, I'd never be as good as her. Well, you never know that. Maybe you would be as good as her. Maybe you would even be better if you trained a lot. She's so serious. I don't think I could be that dedicated. So I will stand here on the sidelines in this average gym, in this average high school on a Wednesday night. Well, for me, it's actually Saturday night. Well, actually, Sunday night. Almost 3 a.m. But never mind that. Wednesday night. Got it. I live in Tokyo. I don't. And for this is considered a good school, it's pretty standard as far as high schools go. We don't get many spectators coming to watch the games. Some moms in the stand. Some guys joking around and not really watching the game. What? Well, if the... Well... I hope they are not some old pervs. And of course, tonight's practice. So not even that. I'm not surprised. This is mainly an art school. They have pretty good sports programs, but it's really focused on the arts. You know, theater, fine art, music, that sort of thing. Yeah, nothing like that really holds my interest either. Figured it would be easier to warm the bench than feign interest in drama or classical music. Yeah, I would go the same way if I were in your situation, honestly. I guess I'm not really anything like actor or, or, or musician at all. I'd complain that it eats up my evenings, but then even if I had tonight free, I'd probably be at home too anyway. I live with my mom, who works late at night and sleeps all day, so I end up being the one to do the housework. Once I'm done, I must read. It's probably the only real hobby I have. I should probably in the very beginning mention that this is a Yuri game. So, I mentioned it now, in case you don't know it. I tried reading on the bench once, but I got yelled at, so now I just sit here. I do have to start studying soon, for exams are coming up. The next year is the last year of school. Mom keeps talking about me going to college, but what would I study? I wouldn't have a clue where to even begin thinking about that stuff. As I started thinking about whether it was colder in the gym or outside in the open, Kana Hirano, the team captain, said practice was over. I headed into the showers, desperate for hot water. Whoa. Oh yeah, there is actually a restoration patch, but I decided not to use it, because, well, that will be actually easier for me later to edit, and I don't have to cut anything by myself then. Out of the videos, so yeah. But there is a patch, and... It was provided by the developer himself, so that's nice. And it's free. Okay, as I walked in, immediately I heard the chattering of the girls on the team. 
It's a pretty plain locker room. Uh, nothing special. They won't let us personalize it, so it just looks kind of bare. I made my way to my locker without as much as a hi from anyone else. Well, at least the good thing is you have lockers. I never had a locker in my schools. Any of them. Well, basically, in Poland we don't have lockers. That's also the thing. Unfortunately. It's almost as if I don't exist. No one ever addresses me directly. Hey, Khan. You hear about those guys at Yasuo? Wait. Yeah, heard for service killer. But now that I think about it, the topic of this game is actually... is actually, well, on fire at the moment, if you think about the, basically, the area it is in, you know? Visual novels, manga, anime, and so on. Because there is one anime that is really hyped right now, and it's really good. So, well, with this game you might hit the, the, the audience, I believe. So yeah, uh, we'll need to be careful next week, okay? It's a big game, end of the season, you know? I hear ya! Interesting. We've gotta stay on top of our game so we can be ready for next year! Let's keep out our... <coughs> Let's keep our win streak going! Yeah! I still don't really know why I shower. Not like I did any running around on, or anything. Well... Let's say I have a prediction why you would like to shower there. <clears throat> but that's just my own prediction here right now. It just seems like something you should do, I guess. But as I undress and step under the hot water, I remember. I love taking showers and baths. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Yes, that, that, that was my prediction, exactly. It may seem strange to others, but it's something that centers me. As the warm water works its way down my body, I close my eyes and allow my mind to wander. I can't say it goes anywhere in particular. Just to a relaxing place. Suddenly I snap out of it when I notice I'm alone in the shower. I turn off the water, grab my things, and start heading back to the locker room when all of a sudden. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Hey, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, Bihar-san. Jeez, my shower so exploded. Oh, English voiceover, that's nice. I'm really sorry, let me help! It's cool, don't worry. Well, that was great. Good job, Aya. I think I must have still been a little space down after the shower. I didn't see her at all. Well, that's not good. That's not good. As usual, looks like I'm pretty much the last one here. Well, I'm not surprised, it's a regular occurrence. I hastily got dressed, stuffed my gym clothes into my bag, and made my way home. As I started my short walk home from school, my mind started wandering toward dinner. I think a chicken curry would work tonight. I would, I would actually eat some too, if it's possible. As I walked in, as usual, I dropped my bag and shoes at the door. Nice house. This is my home. It's modest, but I like it. I like it too. More and more apartments are becoming kind of western style and more modernized. Well, we don't really have the Japanese style house here. Uh, houses here, I believe at least. Maybe there are some, but I've never seen one actually. But I actually would like such 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 such, such house to be honest. You know, Japanese style. They look they look nice. I really like that our house still has some traditional look and feel, you know. Even if a few of these mods could use replacing. We get a good amount of light. We're not near any major road, noise or anything. We've even got a little yard space. That's more than most in the city can say. Good morning! Wait, 
So the partial voiceover is not for all the characters like that appear in the game, but for some of them. Gee, mom, get off me! Why do you always ruffle my hair like that? Because you're my heartable daughter, and I'm your mom. Those are the rules, sweetie. Uh, you just woke up. Late night, last night. Well, you know, big navy ship from going down. They just love me, so of course I had to stay late. <laughs> what? What? Dinner's almost ready. Tea's on the table already. Ah, oh, you're so good to your mom, I am. Thank you! You're welcome. My mom works as a hostess at a traditional izakaya. She often ends up drinking with the customers to make sure they order even more. Well, well, I guess that that's actually a good idea to do like that. I mean, you know, that way you earn more as well. She gets great tips and she manage ma uh, and and the management love her, but I can tell it's hard work. She sleeps all day and heads straight back to work. Tonight is chicken curry. Time to eat. What's wrong, Kaya? What do you mean? You look so sweaty. How's practice? Okay, I guess not like I ever play or anything. You always look so glum. Cheer up. It can be that bad. I'm gonna turn on the TV. Eat up before it gets cold. After dinner, I did what I did most evenings. Soak in the bathtub and read a book. From the description, you'd get the impression that I'm a big reader. Maybe. I often wonder if that's what my hobby is. But really, I just like some specific authors and series. I got myself into bed and a sensible time and tried to clear my mind. Now that I think about it, if I play a lot of visual novels, am I also a reader? I mean, I read some books aside from that, but you could consider visual novels as well, right? Like, as kind of books, right? So let's continue. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the timing. It's morning. A pretty standard spring day by the looks of it. I get ready while the birds chirp. There songs outside. I'm glad it's not cold in the mornings anymore. Mommy's passed out as usual. I'll leave her notes. I prepare lunch for her every day in case she wakes up before I get home. She does work hard, so I appreciate everything she does for me. Not like my dad was ever around her. To help out at all. That bastard! I, well, I hope no nothing happened like, you know, death and, you know, then calling him bastard would be not a bad idea. <clears throat> but if 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 he left the two of you alone then he's a bastard. No no such story there. Just wasn't around. Mom doesn't talk about it a lot. Okay. I don't feel any need to pry either. It's just a fact. Anyway, time to head to school. The light shines in through the large hallway windows. It's light when I'm here in the mornings now. I walk down the same hallway to my classroom. I don't say hi to anyone and I don't get a hi in return. Uh, uh -huh. Wait, are you a bit of a shutting? Well, not really a shutting, but... Uh, introvert, basically. Uh, Okay, I often wonder if people would be shocked if I walked down the hallway with a smile on my face. What's that phrase people use now? Resting bitch face? Honestly, first time hearing that. Sure, I probably have that. Not on purpose, of course. I continue to think about that as I walk down the hallway, avoiding the people's gazes. So one thing I do like about this school is that students in their last two years don't need to wear a uniform. Okay, we don't have, we never had lockers like that uh, as well. Not only before the gym and so on, physical education and so on, but also, you know, to leave books and or anything. Basically, carry the books in your backpack every day and ruin your back a bit. 
Okay, let's go. And no, we don't have uniforms. Well, we didn't have uniforms as well. Only for our, like half a year, some weird jacket in junior high. Okay, but the game. Why do I keep getting out of the game to some weird topics? Uh, let's go. I guess that's an adventure of going to an artsy school. But I would like some uniforms in schools, I'll be honestly. As, uh, as shame I don't like the art stuff, really. I don't really have that many interests. I just don't get celebrities or fashion or anything like that. Makes it kind of hard to have things in common with people sometimes. As such, I'm not exactly Miss Popular or anything, which, hey, I'm fine with. It's a pretty nice school though. They obviously have good funding. The buildings are new. The facilities are maintained well. It's a beautiful summer day today too. That's all I can ask for, right? This is my class, to be. I make my way to my desk and start arranging my desk. Pen, paper, things like that. The rows of desks are still neat. This will change by the end of the day. My class can be a little roughy and animated at the times, so desks often move around. It's almost lunch time too, so people often move them around to sit with their friends. Wait, lunch? Then it hit me. I had left lunch at home. It's still there in the fridge. I'm sure of it. Hi, can I see you, please? Uh, I. Oh, I have some trouble. Settle down, please. It's nothing like that. I. Okay. My heart skipped one or two beats. I don't get into trouble at school, but it's always a concern to be called out by the principal. Did you forget your lunch today, Aya? Hey. Say what? You can read minds or something? Hey. Actually, yeah, I did. I thought as much. Your mom came by and left. This for you. Is that most burger? No, usually you know junk food like this is not allowed. But think as your mom came all the way here and you'd go hungry or rice. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? Uh, okay, I won't. Thank you for bringing it to me, and sorry if mom caused you any trouble. That's okay, Aya. You can tell she really cares about you a lot, for she did have her shirt on backwards. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. She works nights. Is that so? Well, back to class with you, Aya. Thank you. That was unusual, but totally typical of mom. I mean, she's always looked down for me. She said she never got the opportunity to go to school or have a real car. She says that's why she always looks out for me and works as much as she can to provide for us. She really does care. It's kind of nice, actually. I wish she didn't have to work so late, but at the same time, I understand. Tipping isn't really customary or anything, but she gets a lot of foreigners in who are used to it. I know the way she gets the big tips as well, even for she's in her late 30s. She doesn't look that much older than me. Yeah, she looks pretty good. I know how guys can be. I'm not totally naive. I still appreciate everything she does for even the burger. She knows most burger is my favorite. <laughs> okay, I arrived home on time today. There wasn't any volleyball stuff to do. That's fairly unusual, as they always demand I attend practice even if I don't really do much other than some warm-up and training drills. The sun is just starting to go down, and I can hear the bugs making their noises in the yard. I don't think mom is home. It's quiet. What's this? Mom left a note. Going to work early. Hope you like the burger, sweetie. Love, mom. Well, I guess I only have to worry about food for myself tonight. I guess I'll grab a noodle bowl and watch some TV. I can never find anything I want to watch. I don't like action shows or celebrity stuff. Game shows are pretty stupid too. Huh? What's this? Looks like the under 18 volleyball team is playing tonight. I guess that's why we didn't have practice. Japan versus Netherlands. I don't know if the Netherlands are any good. I think they are, but that's just a guess, honestly. As expected, there is Nanami and Kana. Kind of strange to see them on TV like this. 
I've often wondered why they bother to drive so hard to be so good. I mean, surely it's easier to not to do all the training and diet stuff they talk about all the time. Maybe they want to be popular or something, not that anyone outside of sports really knows them at school. Well, but, but, you know, I think they would have a rather decent living out of it. Maybe they want to be famous and be on TV, that sort of thing. But can you even have a car playing volleyball professionally? I mean, it's not soccer or... It's not football or baseball. <laughs> Women's sports are never as popular as the men's either. I don't really get that. Sports are sports, but whatever. I think I'm gonna read this. I really don't care to watch the game. I can't say I did. That's good enough. But yeah, that's true actually. Volleyball players don't earn as much as football slash soccer players. Well, even American football players, right? I'm reading a book series about a boy wizard in England. Again, for the millionth time. But it's enjoyable. As I lay on the couch, I noticed it start to rain outside. A spring shower, perhaps. Not unusual for this time of year. You can't predict the weather with any reliability. Even the weatherman on TV can't get it right. The rain rattled against the windows and provided a wonderful natural soundtrack to the evening. I often wish I lived in a country where it rained all the time, perhaps like in Europe or Canada. Well, not everywhere in Europe it rains all the time. The rain suits me. But yeah, Great Britain, uh, that area. I continued reading my book and eventually drifted off to sleep. The rain must have stopped during the night. It's cleared up so much you wouldn't even know it if ever rained at all. Springtime is an unpredictable as unpredictable <laughs> is as unpredictable as ever. As as Whoa, there's a lot of people over there. Did you hear? She didn't make it home from the game. After playing for Hunter 2? So sad. I wonder if she's gonna make it. What? What's going on? Maybe her son. What happened? Oh, Mizuki san. It's. Kana. She. She was in an accident. Her dad was driving her home from the game last night. Hey, uh oh. Yeah, I saw you guys on TV. But. Yeah, but they got into a crash. She's in a coma. Holy shit! I I what I I don't don't really know what to say. I'm sorry. Is she going to be okay? They don't know. I'm trying to find out myself. Oh 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 uh oh. I know we should be thinking that it's a terrible thing because it is a terrible thing, but you know. I'm afraid that our main character might be in trouble right now and might need to start training really hard as well. Her dad was injured too, so there's not much information. Okay, Ra, please head to class. I mean it right now. She's so meek, where it said that she'd be a good principal. I mean, she's not much older than the seniors. I'm sure guys don't complain. How is she supposed to control a bunch of students? I, I suppose I'll talk to you later. Yeah, okay. Hey, wait, what? Okay. Have you heard of someone was really upset? I guess they were really close. I mean, they were both stars of the team. Played for the country together. Makes sense, she'd be upset. It's sad. I mean, I wasn't really good friends with her or anything, but I never wanted anything bad to happen. Obviously. A car crash, I mean... No one would wish that on their worst enemy. That's true. I really hope she pulls through. The weather is just starting to out over again outside. Typical, the rain can never wait for me to get home. I didn't even bring an umbrella today. Hey, Mizuki-chan. You heard about what happened, right? Hello. Saito-san. Yeah, I did. It's really sad. Today, obviously. 
That would make sense. Not like you do anything but sit on the bench looking pretty anyway. <laughs> this is Yuka Saito. This is Yuka Saito. I'm not really sure why she's on the volleyball team either. I mean, she does play, but she doesn't seem the type for sports. Everyone thinks she's pretty cool. She smokes. Okay. You are not cool already. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Speaks her mind and gets into a trouble a lot. The sort of girl who isn't afraid to do what she wants to do. I don't really get her sometimes, but maybe it's fun having that outlook on life. More confusing, perhaps, is the fact that she's even talking to me. Most of my school days go by without any meaningful conversations. Perhaps it's just today's events on people's minds. I hope Hirano-san comes back soon, though. She really holds a team together. Yeah, I know what you mean. If she doesn't, looks like you might have to play. <laughs> I'd love to finally see you in action. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised by her statement utterly and completely. The way she said it, I can't tell if she means she wants to see me play well or, or something completely different. That had it occurred to me. We'll have to wait and see what happens. You heading home too? Yeah, if there's no practice today, I guess so. Well, see you next time. Have fun. She always seems to have so much energy. She's definitely got a fun, flirty personality. Perhaps that explains her earlier comments. That must be it. I should pack my things and make my way home. Do, 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 do. Thankfully, the rain managed to hold off for a while. I managed to get home safe and dry. As I arrived in the front door, mom came running up to me with obvious concern on her face. Hey, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Aren't you upset? It's over the news. I sure about your friend. Uh, well, we aren't really friends, but it is sad. Aren't you on the same team together? Well, yeah, but she's the star of the team, and I don't really play much or anything. <laughs> you don't? So do you do? Well, I show up for practice, run fitness drills. What about the games? I stay on the bench. The other girls are better than me. Well, honey, don't you want to play too? Not really, I was not all into that volleyball. Well, that's silly. Why to do it? Why not quit and join another club? What would I even do for drama club? I think I'd rather warm the bench. Suit yourself, you should find something you like to do. Anyway, I'm off to work. Suzuki sound called in sick, so I have to cover the earlier shift today. You've been doing that a lot lately. Well, the manager likes me, I can't let him down. Besides, I like the work. Well, okay, have a good night. Uh, well, I guess I can continue reading my book. Nothing else to do right now. You'd think I'd be bored or something, and I kind of am, but this suits me just fine. I mean, actually going out to do something would be a pain anyway. It's raining outside anyway, I'm better off here. The weather still can't make up its mind. The clouds are starting to roll in again. On top of that, a bunch of guys in the corner are very loud discussing some anime show on TV last night. <clears throat> they get so fired up about it, I wouldn't mind, but they are just so loud. Class was boring today. Our teacher can be kind of lazy sometimes, and just gives us self-study time. In other words, read a textbook and be quiet time. Isn't it the best way? <laughs> I consider it always the best way. Maybe he really hates his job. Actually, I'd probably hate it too. Still, I don't mind having reading time. I mean, as long as the lesson is enjoyable, you know, the teacher can go through all the topics in an enjoyable way, then fine. It's great. I'll, I, I really listened. But if, if it was super boring and, you know, you can't really get the topic in an appropriate way. Then head on the desk and nap. Always. Don't follow me. Don't do the same thing. Mm, because it's a bad thing to do. I tend to drift off in my own thoughts during class. I try to empty my mind and not overthink things. I feel it's better to simply get on and do things instead of overanalyzing them. 
Mizuki-chan! Oh, Saito-san! Wait, now we don't have the voiceover? Okay. What with this Saito-san all the time? We're teammates, call me Yuka already! A familiarity like that was not something I was accustomed to. In fact, it felt a little foreign. I felt I'd better respond positively for no sense in being confrontational. Confrontational, after all. Okay, Yuka. What's up? Thought I should let you know everyone is expected to practice tonight. That means you too. The principal and Abby Harson are having some kind of special meeting, right because of what happened. I was afraid of that. The implications of losing the team star player are of course huge. No sense in trying to guess the reason for the meeting, however. The team could be disbanded. I could be drafted into play. It really could be anything. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> what is there to say for? I mean, no one knows when she's going to wake up or anything, right? Maybe they're gonna disband the team. I wouldn't be surprised. Really? But we always want games. Surely they'd want to keep us around. Well, only one way to find out. Let's get over to the gym. I have to say I'm a little apprehensive. Can be helpful. Oh. Let's see where this is going. The principal has a very shy kind of demeanor. It's quite often that she gets flustered, especially when public speaking is involved. Is that everyone? Well, um, okay, let's begin! Thank you for coming to this special meeting. Obviously, Kanahiran is still in critical condition, critical condition in the hospital. After speaking with her, I understand they expect her to make a full recovery. Yes! That said, the doctors do not know how long that will take. It could be weeks or years. Well, that would suck. Weeks would not be terrible, but years? Oh, shit. So we need to talk about what we are going to do for the rest of the year. Maybe her son can take it from here. Sure, so we've gone out of action. We are missing a spot. Of course, Sumia Senpai and Kamiya Senpai are graduating this year and will be busy preparing for final exams. We are worried about their grades. Mizuki-san, this means we're going to be relying on you to fill the final spot. I hope we can, we can rely on you. Of course, Kizuke Senpai will be there too. I can try. I'll be expecting everyone else to give their best performances for our last games of the year. Practice will rest most normal tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Well, thank you. Uh, looks like my bad feeling was on point. I wonder if they know I'm awful at volleyball. I mean, you'd think they'd have figured it out by now, right? Wait. Okay, are you excited? Not sure if excited is the right word. <laughs> but you'll get to play with us, finally, after all the time on the bench. This could be your big break, you know? If you say so. Oh, don't be so negative. We'll have fun, I promise. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take off for tonight. <laughs> See ya tomorrow, I guess. See ya, you will, Ayatan. Have a good night. I guess we're on first name terms now. Might be nice to have someone on my side if I have to play, I guess. She's the kind of person that lives in the upper room simply by being there. Not a bad person to be friends with, certainly. As I wondered about what kind of conversations you and I might have in the future, I started to leave for the night. Really? Nothing stopped you? As usual, I have to cook dinner for mom before she goes to work. As I dropped my things at the front door, I wondered how mom would react to the fact that I'd be more involved in vo with volleyball team now. Yeah, I don't know why I want wanted really to say team. But yeah, with volleyball team now. Got it. Would she be happy? Disappointed? Indifferent? Thankfully, I don't think it would actually change much at all. I already went to practice and the games. That still allows me to take care of the housework. Hi, mom. Hi, sweetie. Have a good day? I guess. So, turns out I'll be playing volleyball after all. You will? Because of the girl? Yeah, practice starts again tomorrow. Does mean I can come to a game? No, mom. 
Oh, calm down. You thought I'd be working away. You're safe. I want to pursue you that badly. Thanks, I guess. Hungry? I could eat something. I'll get something started then. So, are you ready for exams? It's almost time, right? I guess... Ready as I can be... Don't you have extra studying to do? Not really... I know the material well enough... I should be fine... Well, I'm glad you're confident, sweetie! Had any thoughts on what you're doing to do for a summer break? I haven't really thought that far ahead... Probably catch up on some reading... Oh, come on now... I'm not gonna let you mope around at home for weeks on end... Why don't you go and spend time with Grandpa in the country? It will be a change of scenery for you at least, and I know he'd love to see you! Grandpa? But I haven't seen him since, like, I was like, like, ten years old. All the more is to go! I know we don't have a big family, but it's important to keep in touch, you know? I guess, but how do I get there? On the train, silly! If you take the Niigata line, it will take around an hour. That's it? Just an hour? <clears throat> It's not too far away, and trains are fast, honey. I'll pay for it, so don't worry about that. Uh, it will be great for you both to catch up. I'll think about it. Actually, a change of scenery might be nice, even if it's just to have somewhere near you to eat. Maybe find a nice tree in a field and spend summer there. That actually sounds kind of nice. Tonight's menu is... Tonkatsu pork. It's mom's favorite. She claims any extra wave goes straight to her bust. Seriously. Well, if that's true, then she is one lucky woman. It's not an unrealistic claim at all. I start to think that what life would be like if I fixed it on my own appearance to that kind of level. Then I remember that I'd never happen. it would never happen. I decided to make some tea to go with dinner. I've always been a tea drinker. Same here. I guess mom got me into the habit. Well, I, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I guess I would feel I would fit in that in that family well then. The family of tea drinkers. Green tea, air grey, anything is good. I head over to the kitchen to get the tea started. Ouch. Alright, that's the next day. Let's actually end the episode here. And we'll continue this story of Sweet Volley High in the next one. And we'll see how bad our main character is in volleyball. At volleyball. So, yeah, for now. Hope you enjoy it and see you tomorrow in the next one. Hope, I, I, I wonder how this will develop everything. Alright, uh, bye bye.